All right, what's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy Dan V. Hudson News right here, man. Who we got right here, man? It's your boy Moco Baby, aka Moco Fatal. Oh my God, the living legend right here, man. The <laughs> man. legend, the Moco legend, <laughs> man. Crazy, man. People don't really know this man has been like in the rap game for a long time. I don't want to show your age, bro. But. <laughs> Like, you know, but I'm gonna keep it 100 though. Like, niggas that know, they know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, man, old, like, I mean, he still look young for, you know, he look young, yeah, but man. I don't want to show his age, but he's been in the yeah, game I'm for a minute. Yeah, I'm 57, man. I'm 57. I'm 57, man. 1, 000, man. You 50, 57? 57. Guys. For real? 57. Nah, man. bro. Man, what is wrong with this man? I'm 57. <laughs> 57, bro. Get the fuck out of here. I thought you were gonna tell me 37, <laughs> nah. 40. Maybe nah, 38. Man, man. I've been out here, man. Get the fuck out of here. For sure, man. They look young as hell for 57, yeah, man. man. Get with me, all the old heads, man. Tap in. That's crazy. <laughs> you ain't got no gray hairs. Nah, I got the gray, you know, 57. Man. Cause you can't at least give me 47? 50. You can say it. I'll go with 47. <laughs> 47, 47 Damn. Work. Yeah, 57, man. Get your CMOS. We got it here. Mad the Moss, high box. CMOS. Shout out to Mad Moss. That's crazy, man. But I, I, I didn't. Even, I was shocked. Look, 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 I'm in the background, y'all. I'm shocked that he actually told me that, though. That's crazy. Man, no kizzy. I'm 57. If you know, you know. Shh, man. Oh man, I got, I got a lot, man. I got a lot to speak about right here. I'm still shocked by 57. Like, <laughs> like nah, for real though. Cause man. he's gave me 45, 47. I'm wrong with that though. Y'all can call it 45. I, I take 45. All right, man. Shit. You know Say less saying? though, and you still going there strong, man. Yeah, strong, man. You can't give up on your dreams, Shh. big boy. Nah, that's that's facts. That's, you know that's what I'm saying? definitely. I'm 57, fact. shitting on niggas, man. I'm that telling you. Crazy, man. So over time, man. We gonna get to the journey, man. So people don't know. You've been rapping since like, how long have you been rapping? Like how probably, long? Like recording, probably. Uh, man, I've been recording since LeBron was a rookie. So how long LeBron been playing now? This is about to be year twenty one. So it gotta be so. I bet, yeah, it's like twenty twenty one twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really before that, because LeBron was a rookie, so I, probably like man, I'm twenty five years, man. I'm fifty seven, so you do the math. Damn. Like twenty five years. Damn, that's crazy. Nick, give me a lighter, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Oh, uh, man, but damn, damn, about 20, about... 25, said, like a quarter century. A quarter man. century in. Yeah. That's crazy. That's why the shit's so nice like that. Niggas be like, man, Yeah, like how I could do that shit. No, you can't. Man. Yeah, for real. I've been doing it. And like, I remember one of your videos. I don't know if I remember it on YouTube or if it was when YouTube first first came out. Like I'm talking Way about, back, yeah. yeah, like 06, 07 type yeah, of shit. Yeah. I don't remember if I saw your videos from there or if I remember I seen it on like the local DMV channels and shit. Like, yeah. remember Love TV, you know, DMV. All that, yeah, 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 when the DMV yeah, music yeah. movement, you first heard the name of it. Yeah, early. When it had the, and all that. Yeah, even yeah. probably before that, like. Yeah. But you know, Wale had a buzz in the street a little bit before. I'm, just, I'm talking about way early. Yeah, when yeah, yeah. Doing open mics and all that good shit. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And mm -hmm. I, I, I've seen you around for a minute, mm -hmm. and I know you've been around for all them situations. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, oh, I didn't even really get a chance to ask you, man. Where you from, man? I'm from Montgomery County, Silver Spring, man. Oh. By way of White Oak. White Oak, 650. Yeah, shout out right. to that. Yeah, 88 Rosemary, too. Shout out to that side, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rose, yeah, Rosemary Hill. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. There was another re legendary rapper, man, that, uh, Frank Diggy. Yeah, that's my brother. Yeah, yeah, sure. man. Yeah, that was, that was definitely a legendary One rapper. One of the greatest. He was, he was that, though. Yeah. Niggas don't give him his credit. Like, Charlie was that, man. Mm-hmm. In the flesh. Long live the dog, though, for sure. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Damn. Dog, yeah, man. man. Well, so what uh, actually inspired you to rap, especially like on that side? I think you was the first rapper I actually ever seen from that side. Like, man, it was it was niggas older than me that was rapping, but mm -hmm. you know there wasn't no internet like that. So, the only way you would know is if you knew them. Like, mm -hmm. you know, every neighborhood had niggas that rapped and shit. Right. But as far as my age group, a lot of us was rapping, so it was nothing. So, niggas been rapping. I've been rapping since. Elementary school in the lunch lunch room, little uh -huh. bitches like rap. I start rapping and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Biggie made it cool for fat niggas to rap, and then it was a rap. Once crazy. I seen Biggie was doing it, it was a rap. Shit, crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Recipes to Christopher Wallace. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Fast. He just like gave me the motivation, the confidence to be like, nah, I'm about to. 
You about to do this? Yeah, I'm about to do this shit. Yeah, for real. Do this motherfucker, man. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta keep it real. So he was probably one of your influences, like yeah, you were probably, saying? you know what I'm saying? Like, really thinking, man, I'm gonna do this shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I was seeing rappers and shit, but when Big came out and was doing it the way he was doing it, I was like, oh, yeah. Damn. They just killed the nigga too fast, bro. Yeah. Because yeah. the nigga was young, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Shit crazy. Yeah, shit. But he was definitely an influence. Beanie Siegel was an influence. That's, that's that's another one people don't bring up. Yeah, yeah. Beans like under I'm talking about early beans, Rockefeller beans. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. Bully, nigga. Man, that nigga bully. Broad Street bully, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Who who side beans. you pick between Beans and uh Jada Kiss when they had That their... battle was crazy, <laughs> though. Like they both got off. But I was more of a Rockefeller fan, I ain't gonna hold you, so I'm gonna say they beans got it, but they was going crazy. Yeah. What do you say? Don't make me have to hurt you, kiss. I know you sweeter than a Hershey kiss. <laughs> like, nigga, what? <laughs> they was going crazy. I ain't going to hold yeah, you. That was man. a good battle. Yeah, yeah Beans was an influence. Kiss was an influence. Recipe DMX. All them niggas. All them niggas that was like really rapping but did it with style type shit. Right. Them was the niggas I was fucking with. Like, I like mm -hmm. the words. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Put the words together. Niggas be getting this shit all fucked up. And some niggas be wanting to. Oh, I got the most money. Oh, I've been fucking the most bitches. Like, this is an op for him, nigga. It's about the words. Who put the words together the best? Mm -hmm. Niggas don't want to talk about that, though. Who right. put the words together the best? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas to worry about killing niggas nowadays, boy. And that's cool, because there's some niggas that can rap that killer shit and they put it together well. Yeah, like, they do. I, I can respect the op for them. It's, yeah. not, it's not always, I ain't here to knock niggas for talking that, that spin shit, but. He's, 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 he's yeah, had like, some creativity yeah. no, with it. I had a creativity no, with it. Exactly. You know what that's what I'm saying. That dumb down shit miss me with that shit. When they, when they <laughs> you spinning with style, nigga, it's different. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, see the light. Yeah, you feel me? I got a couple questions, but I want to just uh, speak about you know growing up in like the Moco side, like you know what I'm saying that that's that right. Silver Spring because like people you know always had that perception of Montgomery County. You yeah. know me, I grew up. And I grew up in like, you know, near Montgomery County a little bit too. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, um, I lived like on the borderline a little bit for some years. Yeah. So like, like I kind of knew what was going on. Cause I'm like around, like I'm like three blocks away from Maple. Okay. Yeah. 88, like, like 88, uh, um, the other 88, you Potty know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Potty bottom. Branch. Yeah. yeah. Down bottom 88. There was like yeah. 10 minutes away from me. So like, you know, going to Go-Go's and shit on that side, like, you know, like, oh yeah, they out here. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I even had men from uh from from Lockwood and 650 and shit yeah, for sure. that um that I went to go goes with man. You know what I'm saying? So right. I definitely like was very familiar, but a lot of people is unfamiliar. Like when I bring up Moco, it's either one suburban too far or shit, which is crazy though. But like really, like we too far. Like the line is like right there. Like right. Like the oak got a bus that take you to Fort Totten. Like. <laughs> it's a bus in the neighborhood Not like on the street, main street Like in the neighborhood Right It's a bus that you can stand at It'll take you to Fort Totten, brother That's crazy Tacoma Park, man <laughs> Tacoma Park is D.C. and Mocom Like, come on, man Like a lot, a lot of people don't know But you know, even if you don't know that That, you know A lot of niggas really don't venture over there Like, it'll be a nigga that be from uptown That'll never go down there Like That's crazy Treat it like it's a, a foreign land type shit yeah, You know what I'm saying? But in the 90s, niggas was coming down because City Place was like that. Oh, man. When City Place was lit, the niggas in town talk, was coming down. You talking about Arcade City Place. Yeah, the real, the real, the real one. On, on the, the fifth floor. Yeah, the on real the fifth floor. Real the City Place. The the stub era, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember that Before shit. Before Majestic, all that other shit. Yeah. So, work. like, I, it's hard not to, like, and so it's, it's a, like, like it's, it's, a, it's a nice place, man. I don't... Yeah. If you're a guy that likes money and... Knows how to carry yourself well and and can, and and knows how to handle your businesses. You might want to check it out. Yeah, check Montgomery County. <laughs> like, but your side of Montgomery County wasn't that though. Nah, nah, it's it's it's. You had to make it out. But the funny thing about it is, it's it's sections in Mo County that if you rode through, you would be like, "What the fuck is going on out here?" Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you could die at that same place wherever you at. You think it's glitz and glamour. But at any time you can get smashed out there. Like mm. my shit, our shit just is just a little more fucked up, so it's more obvious. But it's other sections that niggas would be like, oh, there ain't shit going on out here. I they pull out of Gaithersburg. Yeah, like, yeah. Germantown somewhere. Like, them niggas, everybody get it in, bro. I don't yeah. know what people be thinking. The internet been around for a long time now. Yeah. There's no more 
it's going down everywhere you at it's going down i don't yeah, know yeah, I, yeah. I can't explain it but as far as my side like it was regular shit niggas wanted to be sports stars and niggas wanted to be trap stars that's just mm -hmm. what it was yeah, yeah, that's just they were intertwined, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was intertwined. You was playing ball or you was hustling. Yeah. I knew I knew about Lockwood because of my go go man, but like I remember that one time I remember when they first opened up the Planet Fitness around that motherfucker. Yeah. Though. And I'd be at the McDonald's and it'd be like thirty niggas outside, like like in front of the McDonald's, like twenty thirty. I'm like, what the fuck going on around like, here? It's it's like it's hella, chill now, but it's not nah, them kids still running records. It's yeah. A lot of kids like that generation, like, they, they really coming back with it. Because my generation, a lot of niggas fell victim to the incarceration. A lot of niggas didn't make it. So it ain't really a lot of niggas from, like, my era still around. Now. around. You know, it's niggas that's older than me. It's a lot of them around. And it's some younger niggas that's around. But as far as my era, it ain't too many of us left. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it is, you know, it's regular shit. It's... Sufferation. Anyway, you got places where there's a lot of people at, and it's not a lot of money within the community. You gonna have the issues that we come across. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. There's no money, mm -hmm. but it's over here. We going to school with niggas who got money though. Right, right. So like so that was it, the difference. Then. It's like it's like so niggas like to play it like oh yeah yeah, but nah, you we we just got to meet a different type of lifestyle of motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All of us wasn't the same. Like, if, if say it was 300 students in the school, 75 of us was the same. Mm -hmm. And then the other 225 was just, you get, meet this Chinese nigga, Asian nigga, Russian niggas. <laughs> uh, you, you went to school in Mo County, like, it's, it's a whole mountain bowl. You're going to meet all types of motherfuckers. The perception of Mo County, to this, to, especially to people who come from the city. You know what I'm saying? It's distorted. Yeah. If, if you don't know, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? I didn't come more so from the south. And more like, I'm not gonna fake. Like, is it a nice place? Yeah, it's a nice place. Like, come on, it's a nice place, but you have to have respect. Like, don't, don't go somewhere and think. <laughs> like, I can't. Even, as a man, you should know. I shouldn't even have to say this. Like, yeah, the yeah, men yeah. understand. Yeah. It's not a game around here. Like. I, it's not a game around there. Yeah, thanks. I, I knew. Whether I knew. you want to acknowledge it or not, that doesn't make it any less real. A nigga can tell you, oh, the stove ain't hot. You know it's hot. Yeah. He touch it, he gonna get burnt. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. And it's a lot of sections. It ain't just the oak. It's a lot of sections, man. The oak, there's 88 down bottom, there's Maple Lake, there's Flower Ave, there's Skylar Road. It's a lot of there's sections, there's, man. Castle Boulevard. Castle oh, Boulevard, Bell Pre. Bell like, come on, man. A lot of it's them. a lot of sections, man. A lot of them, and it's more than that. Like I, I ain't gonna go into super detail with all that, but yeah, nah, if I missed you, it wasn't on purpose. I'm trying to keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, what made you want to name yourself Moco Baby? Because that that's like you letting it be known I'm from Moco. Like I've been, but the key is I'm glad you said that I've been doing it. Like when niggas used to swell and. Oh, I'm from uptown because their grandmother lived uptown, or I'm from the south side because their grandfather lived from the south side. I've been repping the mo. Right. And I've been had good men on, uh, uptown and good men on the south that I dipped and dabbled with. You know what I'm saying? But I'm always repping the mo. Niggas know that, though. Yeah. And the Moco Baby, it come from, like, whenever if you listen to my music, before I start rapping, I always say Moco Baby. So eventually, I just took that and made it the name because the name was Moco Fatal at first. Mm -hmm. So then... Once I started doing that, I just went with the Moco Baby. Yeah. But I still use both, though. If you see me release them, it might be Moco Fade or it might be Moco Baby. So it's right, also right. like a it's like a feeling. It's like my alter ego, for real, for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I definitely was tapped in back in the days, man. Uh, like, can you tell me, like, back in the days of them showcase days and stuff like that? Like, what? You mean, like, all the open mics? All the open like mics back in the days, like the early 2000s, if mid. We gonna, if we're going to talk about open mics, I got a shout out on... Um, Uptown XO, man. Yeah, shout out to Uptown XO. XO Definitely, used man. to XO used to make it happen every like every every Tuesday. XO used to have that motherfucking pure. <laughs> like it was a different type of energy, and mm -hmm. it was a lot of talent from all over that was in there every right. Tuesday. Shout out to XO. A lot of niggas was in there. Trail was in there. Wale was in there. A lot of niggas that ain't make it was in there, but they was cranking. Right. So right. that was back when niggas was really rapping, like. You wasn't gonna get acknowledged if you couldn't rap. 
Mm-hmm. Didn't matter how gangster you was, what neighborhood you was from. If you couldn't rap, you wasn't getting on, bro. Right. Now, speaking of that, though, like, uh, speaking of that, like, right there I want to get to is, like, you know, the time you was rapping and the time when Wale was first started rapping, this was Go-Go City. Yeah. The DMV Prairie, which is Go-Go. Everything was Go-Go. You. If you told niggas you rap, niggas would laugh at you like you yeah. rap. You better be Lee Mike for a band type rap if that's what you're doing. But you, you recording rap music? <laughs> niggas would look at you crazy. Nigga, I remember. I'm from that era when niggas used to look at you crazy. Yeah. I remember <laughs> I had one little rap dream, and I was freestyling. We was freestyling to like some dipset ass beats. Like at school, and I just remember it was just she wouldn't even. I think about dumb as shit. The bitch ugly as shit though, and I think about it. But God damn. Shorty looked like an alligator in the face. I think she just had a big butt, but she was popular though. Shorty was popular, so oh, yeah, yeah. You know. So it was like she, I, we was freestyling. All I remember she was like, "Ugh, y'all rap, y'all corny and shit. Y'all don't want to start no go go band." Told you. Then after that, I tried to start a go go band. <laughs> yeah, you know because it's a go go area. Yeah, all so some bands, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's still a go-go area, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Niggas just more, niggas like the clout of rap a little bit more now, so. Yeah, clout get a little bit It's really about more. the clout. They don't care about the art form, it's the clout, man. Yeah. That's all it's about. But like, what, like, what was it like? Like, if you, you tell your friends, I, I rap and all that type of shit, they'd be like, look, get the. Yeah, yeah, they wouldn't, be, niggas would laugh you out. Like, you'd have to prove yourself, like. Right. You had to be that dude. Like, like niggas, uh, like, it wasn't no, like, I can't even explain it. Like, yeah, niggas yeah. wasn't rapping like that. If they were, they was keeping it to themselves. Right. You're not coming out telling niggas you're a rapper. Yeah. At that time, the, the biggest niggas in the world was who? Wayne, mm-hmm. 50, all them niggas. Like, you wasn't rapping. Like, you yeah, rapping. It was a different time, though. Yeah, definitely. You was. rapping. Different time. No matter how nice you were. Then it was like, I feel like that was the time when the art of the rhyme was still respected. Yeah. You know but I'm also say it wasn't a lot of money being invested in, in rap at that time. Like niggas was rapping, but it wasn't like shout out to Booby and them. Them niggas was investing. Yeah, money. Oy Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Booby yeah, yeah, yeah. They was. Yeah, they was on their shit. Right. He, yeah, he was doing that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it wasn't a lot. It wasn't like it was a hundred boobies. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what we needed. A hundred of them. Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think they was they say like they because I did an interview with uh, BDR and all them from the Young Farmers and stuff mm-hmm. like that and they was just like the, the reason why we stood out people was fucking with us is because we was still like in tune with the culture and you know like with the go-go culture and we was at the go-go's and we would get on the mic and freestyle yeah. with Backyard or yeah. Junk or whoever yeah. you know what I'm saying and I think that was the only way you could keep yourself like oh alright we fucking with Local talent, you, you know what I'm saying? Tired, tired too, huh? Yeah, and then also it was it was a lot of talented artists, but I think at that time, like, like this area and the city in general, was just like didn't really have their own sound because like one minute you had somebody sound like Young Jeezy or Three Six or. Rick Ross for yeah, a minute. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of Fugazi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was a lot of niggas that was cranking. Like, yeah, yeah, shout facts. out to my, shout out to my dog, Gerard Street Garvey. Oh, Garvey, definitely. Yeah, like, Garvey, no, definitely. you can't tell me Garvey didn't. Nigga, Need that push, like that real yeah. push. Like Garvey was that. I wow. remember his man pulled up on me and my man and threw a CD in the car. This was before I really even started rapping, rapping. Yeah. I heard the CD. I was like, oh, Charlie cranking. I went to Target Squad the next day. That's when it used to be right there. But um, mm-hmm. if you know, you know, Target yeah. Squad. Went in that jump, did my first jump. The rest was history. Shit, I can take it back. We was Garvey, the chosen one. Yeah, like, shout out to Garvey. Shit. Like, that's one of them, like, and yeah. he's still cranking. Like, yeah, he's still going in. Yeah, so, like, fuck that shit. so I ain't gonna say it wasn't a lot. Of, it was, there's some artists out here, like, mm-hmm. just a lot that didn't make it, that just stopped rapping. Yeah, they just say, fuck, I got fans. Yeah, uncle that be flowing at the dinner, they they laughing at him. They don't know, 10 years ago, he was that. Yeah. One thing I did notice about them showcases, though, man, like, you know, me coming from the go-go, you know, you got the little ratchet giants, but I used to go in there, they used to be the baddies in there, though. Yeah, for like, sure. They, they looking for the next superstar now. Yeah, right? <laughs> back then, they was really looking for that talent. Yeah. If you was nice, you was going to get love in there. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you had on motherfucking mismatched shoes and a, and a, and a fucked up shirt. You go in there cranking, they going to fuck with you. Yeah. That was the energy then. Mm-hmm. Now, niggas might laugh you out no matter how. You could be motherfucking Jay-Z. If you ain't got the image, they not trying to hit. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, how do you feel about now? Like, the generations now? I feel like, you mean the, young, like yeah, the younger youngest. music right yeah. now? I think they 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 profiting off of their ability, mm-hmm. but I I would just encourage them to like try to steer more towards surviving. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like enjoy the money. The money's there for them to be made, but it's yeah. their choice. Do you want to get the money or do you want the clout? Right. 
Yeah, that's crazy. That's but as right. far as the music, they cranking in their own way. They cranking. The numbers show it. So you're not one of the older dudes or the OG homies that be like, man, young ass niggas. I, I get a lot in my DMs. Like, I mean, not my DMs, my uh, my, my message, like my comments and shit. Like, you young ass nigga, he rapping off beat. Yeah. Yeah. The, they got to understand it's they style. And to really be a hip hop fan, you have to be able to listen to every style and appreciate it for what it is. I agree. Absolutely. It's an art form. It's like karate. It ain't like, oh. That's how me and him look at it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, every person that every nigga that rap has, even if he trash he took a his mind took time to put that shit together you know right. what I mean? on top of that shit like you know every person has a right to, to put out their music Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and express how they feel. Right. Now we got stream platforms. They want to put their. But I'm not. Am I saying? Oh yeah, I heard a lot of legends. Nah, I don't hear a lot of legends, but I hear, I hear enough. Right. That they got, and it's so many of them. Like it's so many young. It's a new rapper every day. Yeah. <laughs> so. Nah, definitely. They got the. Opposite. You could blow up tomorrow. That's what niggas don't understand. Yeah. You why go to jail when you can blow up tomorrow? Right. But Message. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a message. <laughs> hey, t take me them times when you uh meeting Wale and Fat Trail in the uh in the showcases and the uh, live events. First time I met Wale and he already had a little buzz, so he just like was trying big dog and not not saying nothing bad about him. Like he just felt like he was somebody as he should have. He, right. he had a little single buzz and shit. Yeah. So he was in there. So he was just like just watching everybody rock out. Everybody rock out. I rock out. But you already know you can peep niggas' energy when you perform it. You know who, who rock. He was fucking with me, mm -hmm. and he was cranking. Whenever he would perform, he would crank. He wouldn't fuck up his lyrics. Everything was on point. Delivery was crazy, fresh to death. Like the nigga was doing his thing. Very right. passionate. I'm not going. I'm never been a hater. Trail used to come in that joint, young, hungry nigga. Wasn't he supposed to be in the club? In there. Yeah. Trail was like one of them clubs, like cause they had a rap nights and they had a club. Yeah, night. yeah, yeah. And like I'm like, damn, like bro, I'm like I'm 18, 19, like y'all can't slap me. I got hundred dollars, like yeah, man, hundred dollars yeah. meant something back there. They was yeah, just hella strict, so yeah. I knew they was. I knew they was on trail when they used to. Uh, yeah, to sneak them in there. Damn, he get off though. I knew he was gonna blow because his energy was crazy. It was uh -huh. undeniable. Like if he got around the right people, he was gonna blow. Yeah, but it's a lot of niggas like that. Mm -hmm. Trail's a good nigga, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, me looking at his old videos and his old performance videos and shit, I used to be like, damn, like. And Shawty had that energy, like, like yeah. you can't take that away from him. I ain't gonna take it away from him. Right. He had energy. Yeah. Them nah. niggas was doing it. But yeah. it was a lot of niggas doing it. I'm trying to think of some sleepers. Who you think was like, I, I was just about to get that cool. Who was the most underrated person that was in that? Man. Like, that you think like, damn, I wish he would have blown up. Besides yourself, like it. Man, and keep this on camera. Hey, Phil. Felipe. Felipe Dro. Keep that question in your mind. Right. Because I'm going to answer the question with the nigga that's about to walk through the door. Like, it's like arguably the hardest single that's ever came out of the city, man. Damn. What y'all think? What do I think, nigga? What you think? Of course, nigga. No moves is one of the hardest jumps that's ever came from. A lot of niggas don't city. know what I'm gonna tell you like this. Drope was some of the hottest. I was just about to get it for Jay Drope. I, I was waiting for Phil to come Drobo right up in here. Drope was been around before Slutty Boys, before Glizzy Gang, before any of that. Yeah, shit. and that's not a shot at any of y'all. And not none of y'all because everybody does their thing and everybody has something to contribute to the city. And nigga, I love Lizzy Gang. I, I love Slutty Boys. You know right. what I'm saying? We all gang. We all family. That's why all this shit always works. Yeah. You now let me ask that question again. I was like, who was one artist like that came from the showcases and performances that you wish blew up? To a major level. To a major level. Right here, man. Felipe Dro, Feel the Future, PDP. Dro Boys in the building. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would say that because, like I was saying to you before, who put out a harder record from? The area. It's only a couple of niggas that are up there. Shy had awesome. Alright, I'll give you that. But start naming them jumps like to the real impact now. I'm talking about real impact. That right. jump. Fat, fat trail, respect with the tech. I'm taking Phil's joint over respect to the tech. No disrespect. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying when you were talking about niggas who had joints that were at the Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. At the but that's your question right here. Drug boy. I would definitely. It's a lot of niggas in the in the game that I, I, I wish would have blew up. His brother rush them. Mm -hmm. Little rap. See, he should have been out of here already. Like man, yeah. I can go on and on, man. Mm -hmm. Any nigga that I took my time and rapped with over a period of time, they, it was something about them, man. 
Yeah. You don't got songs with me with a rock or trash nigga. That's not what you're gonna find. Yeah, in fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But to answer your question, yeah, I would say. This guy right here, nah, definitely. Would you uh come out of retirement one time for the I one time? I ain't retired, man. I still be, I still be fucking around, you know. I just been doing some business ventures, you know what I mean? Yeah. Trying trying to get some long money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, some for show money, I Yeah, you know. man. But I still I'm still cooking up. I got an EP for real about to drop soon as we speak for us right. getting mixed, so I ain't quit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The music is in my soul, in my heart, so that <laughs> yeah. shit ain't about nothing. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, ain't, right. I ain't doing it to to go be Lil Baby or somebody, you know what I mean? But yeah, facts. That shit, is, that shit is love, it's music, that shit. I have been doing that shit since I was a little kid, so that shit ain't about nothing, but we, just, we gonna get it how we supposed to, regardless. Well, since you here, uh... <laughs> 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 Since you here, I got a question right here. Being that y'all OGs, and you come, you you making like I think I feel right now you're making a big comeback. Now you getting good results on my channel, yeah, very good results. Hey, shout out, to, shout out, to what's happening? On then your and like I'm talking about like the comments, oh, everybody's yeah. going crazy. Yeah. Like you talking that shit, nobody moco bashing you, nothing like yeah, that no moco bashing shit is that shit that shit don't don't fade nobody, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> like that shit don't fade. Nobody. Real niggas know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't play nobody. I know. I'll be laughing at the shit to be honest with you, but it is what it is. It's always gonna be that stigma in the area. You know what I mean? But you know, we love everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you heard that. More things on the way, man. Yeah. So you going, your channel about to get blown up. Yeah, nah, for real. It's but drill world. Like I, I had the question right here was like y'all being like OGs and this shit, and now we have a whole new generation of youngsters. You think y'all it's too late for y'all? Cause you know you, you had that stigma if you're over thirty and you're trying to rap, give it up. It depends on what you're trying to be. Yeah, who are it you? It depends on what you're trying to do. That's smart. Answer. It's a business at, at, at the end of the day. True. So I know how to I know how to make some money with the music and and not have to be that. That one in the in the front, you understand what right. I'm saying? So as long as you it depends on what you want to be. Story. If you 35 or 40, want to be <laughs> talking to sliding with the young yeah, like, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you you gotta, gotta be involved, the you gotta young be involved, man. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I ain't never talk about no sliding shit. I was right, never on right. that, but. If I was back then, I wouldn't be on it now. You yeah. understand? <laughs> nah, I just I had to get to that though because like yeah, I had to get to that because yeah, it's like but the youngest is going crazy. I but just, like I want him to stay alive. One of though. my favorite rappers, Money Man, he thirty. People don't even know he's thirty eight. Yeah, yeah, but Money I Man mean, be oh, giving them man. niggas law. Though. That's what yeah. I'm saying. He's talking my favorite rapper of this he's generation. He's talking different. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he can rap till he's sixty with the shit he's talking. Right. Mm -hmm. As long as it's just gonna his fan base is just gonna grow older. It's with him. I think what, what it was, he adapted to the newer generation while still giving them love. And he has time. Yeah, that's what I'm know, saying. It's not it's a time. gimmick. He can flow. Yeah, in fact. That's what it come back to. Like, can you rap? Nah, That's nah. the icing on the cake. Can you rap? Yeah. But, like, you think, like, right now... I mean, I'm not saying that you stop rapping and stuff like that, but I'm saying this right now. Do you think, like, right now is, like, the the new generation for, for yourself right here? Like, this the new... This the, the next move right now, you know. What I would saying? say, I would say, this is the continuation of a process of greatness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. You see how long it took Dirk to win that ring, right? But Dirk was killing all them years he wasn't winning the ring. Niggas didn't say Dirk wasn't nice, right? I still was nice, like as you see, I just dropped out of nowhere. I'm getting love. Niggas can't do that, man. Yeah, nigga might sell a soul to get them a little bit of like. It's not about the likes, like niggas really love this shit. Like, right, right, I agree. It ain't no coincidence I only be around rappers, but a nigga might look at that like, oh, you only be around rappers, nah, you don't get it. These niggas just so having a rap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, nice. It's a difference. Niggas yeah, yeah. just so having a rap. Rap wasn't the first thing we learned in life. Mm -hmm. It's a skill, man. Right? Right. Not everybody got it. Nah, for real. My niggas got it, you know what I'm saying? Um, one thing about like what, what listening to your songs and shit, like one thing I learned about listening to your songs was more like it seemed like in your music you're trying to give youngins a lesson. Sure. Like you, you're big on people I self self incriminating on they self. That like, you're very big on that. The dog, at, like my man was saying, man, like you have to. Your shit gotta grow, bro. Right? Yeah. You can't be telling niggas. Been through a lot of shit, and like <laughs> as far as him, the way he rap. He been through a lot of shit, you can tell. So it's like, he don't want you to go through this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he don't even want to tell me the stories of what he went through. What's wrong with that? But still, <laughs> <laughs> 
Whatever. <laughs> but he, he don't me. want. He don't. But the way he rap is like he gonna give you game. You know. What yeah, I'm yeah. That's he loves to give you game. For and he a smart motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like for street example, smart, book gotta, smart. He loves to give you game. So we, we got to. Uh, we we, we got to. If you haven't dug into the Drill Boys catalog yet, go go listen to Crash Dummy. You might learn something. Mm. Man, listen to all that shit. Yeah, like we got, we we, we got gems. Man, we give you gems. We ain't just talking no drug dealing shit. And yeah. you know, we definitely ain't on no killing shit. For yeah. what? But. You know, we can get big. ignorant if we wanted yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, but y'all just like, I'd rather get some money. I'm big on sure. niggas using their mind. Yeah, like, use, use your money. mind, get bro. Some money, bro. Like, I understand, like, we be in our emotions too much. Like, niggas got to use mm -hmm. your mind, bro. Yeah, tell me the history of the Drove Boys, man. That's what I wanted to know. And then this nigga gonna walk off right when he asked yeah, you, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just about to hear. Yeah, come back one time, bro. That's we probably do another interview, man. Yeah, just get there everybody. Yeah, had a whole gang in this. Yeah, bed. we need a whole gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming soon, though. Yeah, coming soon, definitely. It's definitely a But drawer. just give us, like, a, a brief history, like, how everything started. Like, As far as the rap-wise, that'll yeah. be quickest. The rap-wise... You had you seen my man Phil uh -huh. had that buzz. If you ain't heard stupid dope moves, go check that out right now on streaming platform. He was doing it. He was just like leading the charge. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you got to fall in line. If your man got the glow, this is what niggas be doing to fucking up. They man got the yeah, glow yeah. and they want hate. Uh -huh. No, my man got the glow. We gonna follow behind my man. Exactly. That's how we was carrying it. Mm -hmm. The one when we all went. And that's that's what it was going on. Right. So off of that, everybody started putting their own jumps out to keep the momentum going. And the gang was created. I got my brother right here, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. My brother right here, you hear me? <laughs> JK, you know. Yeah, yeah. If you know, you know. Like, I really don't got to say too yeah, much. Nah, it's fact. a unique why, society. Why y'all call yourself Joe? What was the name? Joe Boys? Just speak for, come on, man. Oh, yeah, Joe Boys. <laughs> Yeah, it's <laughs> I, I, I just made a post on the side. I just made a post uh, from Rock Maki from UCB, and I was like, he was like, where the dro at? Like, yeah. it's too much za. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with no za, but I'm, I'm just saying about, like. And that dro boy name been been uh, been connected to that premium for a long time. Yeah. Man. Oh, quarter century. Yeah. Connected to that premium. Like yeah. I'm talking about that blueberry dro that used to be around <laughs> seven, eight hundred. <laughs> Nigga, a zip. <laughs> he, 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 he going to memory lanes. <laughs> they be talking that good. They been smoking good. They ain't been smoking good. You said they ain't been. be like 15 deep in one studio waiting on big packs to come there. And I was smoking. not there. Keyword used to. Statue of limitations. Yeah, either way, That's I was not to, there. Nigga, back in the day. You know Back in the day. Yeah, yeah, man. Now we're conducting businesses. Hey, stay legitimate, brothers. Like this shop, you feel? Me? Yeah, how about I was about to yeah, say this right here is sponsored by Hot Box. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Make sure you come through, get some good thracks in your life. Legal thracks. You know what I'm yeah. saying? saying? Legitimate, bro. I'm just I'm just cool. <laughs> as far as yeah, no I, do I wanna see. make it? Yeah, I wanna make it, but it's to what extent though? Like it's not even that I I can't even say I wanna make it, bro. It's yeah. that do I want to keep cranking? Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to keep cranking. Do you? Do you? Would you rather be like a national, international star? Or would you rather have a core fan base? Like a, if 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 I could if I could do what backyard been doing for thirty years and just rap three four times a week in front of my local audience, I would love it. Like, facts. It's only one member of my band. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But. Niggas, niggas don't think like that. That's another thing niggas don't think like. Right. Go go is so profitable out here, but niggas have failed to realize how to make rap do the same mm -hmm. thing. When everybody that listens to go go listens to rap. Right. Nah, definitely. We coming to bridge that soon though. We ain't gonna yeah. talk too much about that. Though. I'm <laughs> giving niggas too, too, too much. <clears throat> nah, fact. For real. Bro. Um, before we go, before we go, I want to talk about one last thing because uh, you're very controversial in my comments, and I noticed that shit too. Like you, you come up with these oh, comments. Oh, you talking about as far as your posts? Yeah, shit. like when I make yeah. a post, you'll have a, a, a out of the box comment, and you already got a blue check. I think you had a blue check before the, the, the page. Uh, I ain't buy no blue check. Yeah, he ain't buy no blue check at all. So blue check, no way. people would see your post off the break. So you had the blue check before they was buying blue checks. Yeah, we wasn't doing. So that. it's like every time you made a post, everybody saw it. And when everybody saw it, yeah, I be going. You know, the female be giving me <laughs> hell in the comments, man. Some of them be bad too. I be so I don't be want to go on them, but like you're not gonna challenge me mentally, love. Like we could do it. It's cute. But come <laughs> on, dog. I got time for you. We going. Right. 
I'm gonna give you these jabs on these texts. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I know it's stinging. And then, like, I think it was one post. I, I, I forgot. <laughs> you were the worst. Dude. You already I don't know, know what you. post it was. I don't, do that shit. Fuck it. I don't know what post that was, but it's all in front. I think one dude was trying to fight you. And yeah, see you. nigga, some, I talk nigga, crazy. Yeah. Nigga, you Montgomery County goon. Oh, I, they was going in on one comment you made. I was nigga, like, nigga, damn. You know the nigga block you. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> this is the internet. You can say what you want, bro. Like, I be in all types of comment sections saying crazy shit, bro. Yeah. But it be shit that, like. I just think it's an open discussion of pain. You yeah, might, you that's might... what social media is about. You're supposed <laughs> to speak on shit. Like, niggas just be scrolling and don't say nothing. Little weirdo ass niggas. Yeah. Like, come on, what you looking for if you're not going to speak on a. Niggas just want to watch and see what other niggas saying. Yeah. Nigga, that's tell a... me what you feel about the situation. I don't. I like another nigga comment. <laughs> I write that shit. Man, your comment shit do be lit though. I ain't even gonna lie. So like the, lit, the comments be more lit than the than, than, than the post. Be going in, that should be funny. I, I I go with my comments every every day. Sometimes I make a post on purpose just to see what my comments gonna Niggas say. Go all anything controversial. You gonna get everything you want in them comments. Mm -hmm. And then one thing I, I just always like I always respected that you had your own opinion. You didn't kiss yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't you ain't no. you ain't never like back down from nothing. It's all good to network yeah. and all that. Yeah, but facts. don't 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 you can't compromise your whole self. Like, yeah, some niggas fact. are two different. Like, I ain't even gonna go deep into it. Yeah, I just yeah. want niggas to keep rocking with me, man. Mm -hmm. Just get started for real. Before we go right there, you uh, any last works? Any any work you got going on? Anything you got on the way? Yeah, yeah, they gonna see it. It's gonna be it's gonna be pinned at the page. The new shit when it drops. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got the date yet, but y'all gonna see it, man. Yeah, we fact. working. Yeah, My dog about to drop this week or whenever this drop. He might drop before this yeah. drop, so. Y'all gonna already see it. Mm -hmm. But um Definitely Yeah, right more work me. coming, man. Moco baby. Dro Boy Gang, my dog JK. Right, dog. Check us out, hot box up town, man. Yeah, yeah. gonna smoke good. You know what I'm talking about? We actually got a project on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah whole project. Whole project, damn. Yeah. So And yeah. I'm working with niggas too, man. Like yeah, I'm working with niggas. Work, if you if you, you really it, if you really a serious artist, like the music good, like I ain't on that clout shit. Is your music good? And then let's get it. You really 57, man? 57, bro. Man, I can't believe it, bro. <laughs> like, man, send all before your I go, I, I I really got like, come send on, bro. Send all your aunties my way, man. man 57, come on. man. Bro, come on, man. These are the original 10s from 82, bro. God damn. Yeah, man. For real. <laughs> See, I got that museum shit. <laughs> he on the side, like, he ain't on that 57. <laughs> My dog know I'm 57, you hear me? You heard him call me Big Homie. Like, like y'all gotta understand, like, ain't no old nigga doing it like me in the DMV, for sure. Check me out, man. Damn. See, I got that museum shit on. Put this nigga in the museum, man. 57. Yeah. 57. 57, huh? You hear me? Come on, you can't at least give me 45, man. If you... I'm telling you, we're going to use you on a skit for that. I uh, need that. No <laughs> questions, dog. Appreciate you coming. Nah, I definitely brother. appreciate the interview, man. Shout out to Homo County, man. Yeah. Yeah, for nah. For real, the Homo County. Yeah. Shout out to 651st dog. You hear me? Nah. But yeah, shout out to my section, man. Nah, definitely. I definitely appreciate this interview, man. Definitely hoping for more music on the way. Um, definitely, man. It's appreciation um, for doing this interview. It's your boy, Dan V. Hudson News, and we gone.